The VLOC3 Pro Utility Locator by VVAX Metrotech introduces new innovative tools for locating buried utilities. The unit is highly user configurable and contains eight passive locate modes, fault find mode, and a mode that shows the signal direction. It also hosts a range of configurable frequencies from 98 Hz to 200 kHz. In peak response mode, the compass aligns itself parallel to the direction of the cable. This mode uses dual antennas for maximum accuracy. The peak signal response occurs over the center of the buried line. The peak with arrows response mode operates in the same way as peak mode. However, left and right arrows are also displayed. The arrows indicate the direction to move the receiver to locate the position of the buried line. Omni Peak Response Mode allows the user to detect the line regardless of locator blade orientation. This mode is useful for quickly checking an area for buried lines. Omni Broad Peak Response Mode operates in the same way as Peak Response Mode in that it provides a maximum signal response. However, it uses a single antenna which can greatly assist in detecting deep lines. In Null Mode, the compass aligns itself parallel to the direction of the cable. The minimum or null signal response occurs over the center of the buried line. Vector Mode shows a cross-sectional view of the ground and helps orient the user over the line. This is particularly useful when the user cannot get direct access over the line. In Transverse Graph Mode, we see a graphical representation of the peak and null field shape over the line. This is good for analyzing signal distortion. Plan View screen shows a picture as if you were viewing the line from above the ground. When the line is over the center of the screen, you are directly over the target line. In Sond mode, the receiver looks for the unique peak pattern that is emitted by the sond. The red arrow guides the user to the location of the sond. The blue crosshairs indicate the small peaks being emitted on either side of the sond while the sound icon shows the location of the sound. You can plug in different accessories to the accessory port on the VLOC3 Pro. You will receive an on-screen notification letting you know that the equipment is properly connected. Such items include A-frames, stethoscope antennas, or the MLA, marker locator adapter. The VLOC3 Pro by VVAX Metrotech has many functions that can be accessed through the main menu. Start by pressing and holding the power button located on the face of the unit just under the display. Once powered on, the unit will enter the locate screen which will display a number of features such as battery life, Bluetooth, and volume. To enter the main screen, Press and hold the information, or I key, located underneath the display. Once you've entered the main menu, use the plus and minus keys to scroll through the different options. Scroll to the About screen and press the Enter key. Here you can view different information about the current unit, including the software version and serial number. Press the I button to return to the main menu. Scroll to the speaker volume option and press the enter key to select a different volume setting for the unit, or you can also choose mute. Sound configuration allows you to select AM or FM sound. You can cycle between the two by pressing the enter key. Press the I key to return to the main menu. The backlight will change the brightness of the screen. The unit has options for Auto, Low, Medium, and High. Use the Enter key to cycle through the selections. The Frequency option allows you to select from a range of frequencies. Using the plus and minus keys, scroll through the Frequency submenu and use the Enter key to place a check next to the desired frequencies. Once complete, the user will be able to use the selected frequencies from the Locate screen. Classic Locate Mode is only available if the user menu is entered from the Classic screen. Scroll through the list using the plus and minus keys and use the Enter key to enable and disable Classic Locate Modes. 
The Locate Perspective option has several graphic formats in which data can be displayed. Use the plus and minus keys to scroll through the list and then use the Enter key to enable and disable the different formats. The unit may be supplied with different language options. Use the Enter key to select the language of your choice. Select Imperial or Metric Measurements. Cycle between them by using the Enter key. The front locate screen can display a continuous reading of either depth, current, both, or can be switched off. Use the Enter key to select the desired option. The unit can be set to switch off after a set time. However, when an A-frame is connected, the timer will default to never. The VLOC3 Pro can display several different warnings. Use the plus and minus keys to scroll through the menu and then use the Enter key to enable and disable the warnings. The Bluetooth module can be installed in the VLOC3 Pro. This gives the unit the ability to be paired with devices such as data loggers, as well as GPS devices that have Bluetooth capability. You can pair a Bluetooth-enabled GPS device or smartphone to your VLOC3 Pro for GPS tracking. To do so, hold down the I button to enter the main menu. Scroll to the Bluetooth option and hit the Enter key. Next, scroll down to the Bluetooth search and click Enter. Once your GPS is available on the display, navigate to it and press Enter. Then press I to return to the main menu. To confirm your connection, the Bluetooth icon and GPS icon will be lit up in the upper right-hand corner of the Locate screen. Your VLOC3 Pro can be linked to a transmitter. This is an optional feature and requires the transmitter radio link to be installed in both the VLOC3 Pro and the LOC310 TX. It allows the transmitter to be controlled by the receiver. To begin the process, power up your transmitter. Press the I button to begin cycling through the menus. Once you get to Receiver Link Disabled, press the plus button to bring up the Enabled option. Click the F key to confirm your selection, then press the I key to return to the main screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, there will be a flashing beacon that indicates that the transmitter is waiting to be paired with a receiver. Press and hold the I button on the receiver, scroll down to Transmitter Link, and click the Enter key. Press the Enter key again to enable transmitter pairing. The receiver will search for an available transmitter. When your transmitter appears, scroll to it using the plus and minus keys and press Enter. Your receiver will then be paired with your transmitter and your transmitter ID will be displayed. Go back to the main menu. The beacon icon will be lit up if proper connection is made. You can also confirm a good connection by viewing the transmitter screen. If the beacon icon has stopped blinking, then the receiver transmitter are linked. Once the VLOC3 Pro is linked to a transmitter, the user may use the receiver to control the transmitter. First, press and hold the I button on the receiver. Scroll down to Transmitter Control and press the Enter key. You will now see the LOC310TX screen appear on the VLOC3 Pro interface. You can use the F key to change the frequency on the transmitter and press the plus and minus keys to increase and decrease the output level. The VLOC3 Pro has a self-test feature Hold the receiver stationary, then press the Enter key. The unit will initiate a series of self-tests that will confirm that the equipment is calibrated and ready to use. Be sure this is done in an area free from excessive interference and that any transmitters are turned off. To power off the receiver, press and hold the power button.